Hello everyone and welcome to the program. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. In the past week, so much has happened on the streets of some southeast states where agitations and protests. Some people stayed back at home to remember the civil war and its effect on the nation's unity. And of course, the continued question of Biafra. On the floor of the House of Representatives, a rowdy session erupted as some Southeast lawmakers stormed out of the hallowed chamber after a bill seeking to establish the Southeast Development Commission was voted down. The manner in which the session was conducted became another controversy as some lawmakers questioned the Speaker's role that Honorable Yakubu Dogara in the old exercise. Members, please order. Members. That's a point of order. Order, members. Order, order. <laughs> members, please. Order, members. Order, members. Order, order. Order, members. Order. Honorable Abdul. That's a point of order. And so, some of the lawmakers were angry. Uh, some of them stormed out of uh, the chambers. They were also, they reacted also angrily after uh, the session on that day. Take a listen to some of the grievances just after the uh, the session on that day. You all saw what happened, and it shows one major thing: Nigeria is not one. Anybody that is saying that Nigeria is one, we've been trying to talk to our members, uh, the Southeast people that are talking about Biafra, to calm them down, that we're going to be reintegrated, that everything will move. We have seen it now that Nigeria is not one. We can move for the impeachment of the president tomorrow or any day. There are so many impeachment decisions, but we said let's leave it. This thing was killed. This, this bill was killed by the presiding officer. The eyes were a lot more. He's my brother, but I am totally disappointed with what happened today. This thing is a harmless bill. It is not affecting anybody in his entirety. Why should he be killed? Why should he be killed? We're taking it off. We're going to take it off and we're going to get it. We're going to get it to be rescinded. We're going to rescind it and take it again. And we're going to continue coming. We're going to continue coming until we get what we want. There's no external influence. What you see on this floor here is the thinking of the majority of the northerners. They do not believe in one Nigeria. And very soon we show them that we're no Angry lawmakers, uh, mostly of the southeastern extraction. Joining us from our booth just today to give some more perspective on this matter is the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on the Environment, a member of the PDP from Anambra State, Honorable Obina Chidoka. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Uh, it does look to, to me that uh, some of uh, the questions, uh, some of the things, uh, some of your uh, Colleagues who are not in support of this bill uh, are saying, look so much like a bit, so some of the reactions that we get now. Is it not right for some of your colleagues who think the bill for Southeast Development Commission is a waste of time and unnecessary? Well, um, Sherwood, thanks for ha having me tonight. Um, absolutely not. Um, what we have on the floor of the House wasn't a knee-jerk approach for us having a bill 
for the development of the Southeast. Um, it's been an idea we have nursed over some time and put together. And of course, the Northeast Development Bill came up before we brought in the um, Southeast Development Bill. And if you take the two documents and look at them, you will find the similarities between the two developments, okay, the two um, commissions, development commissions. And for the, South, for, the, for the Northeast, we decided that um, we'll, we'll let it go because we've seen the devastation that has been caused by the um, Boko Haram effect in, in the Northeast. Um, but for the Southeast, it is the same issues. We have the same issues that, of course, they have in the Northeast. Let me quote verbatim from the concept notes for the Northeast development that was moved by Senator Abdul um, Haziz Nyako. And I read, and it says, in contemporary Nigeria, the magnitude and scale of the destruction of lives and property that has befallen the zone, meaning the Northeast zone, can be comparable to the destruction and devastation incurred during the Nigerian Civil War. If you go to that document, that is what in the concept note, that is what is written there. Where was the war fought? The war was fought in, this, in the southeast. So the devastation you're talking about, um, some, of, some of it is very evident today. Um, no, no functional federal presence in the, in the southeast. The second Niger Bridge, Abbey, is not built. The existing Niger Bridge needs a lot of maintenance for people to go through it. The Enugu on Nature Road is not built. Um, there's a huge erosion issues going on in the southeast. I was just watching a program right now by Adesu Oyenukwe, and you can see her commenting even in her own town. Everybody is crying now because the, the town is at the brink of extinction. All right. And the Chairman House Committee on Environment and Habitat. Honorable Chidoka, pardon me if I may quickly butt in here.